Okay, I'm gonna reread that for myself. And then I got another one. What the fuck, man? Hello, hello, hello. Fuck! Hello, hello! Hello, hello. Since I got a little angry there, I'll share this first one with you. Here I am, raw. Hate and pain. Hate and pain are coursing through me. I hate this pain. This hate is painful, and it leaves me famished. I just cannot go on. There's not enough. There's not enough drugs. I cannot go on. There's not enough. There's not enough time in a day. And where do I begin with the fear? My fear. I own it. No, it owns me. But I can't really tell, really, where it ends and I begin. All I can say is that it's caused and cost me a whole fucking life. This suffocation is breathing down my neck. Each breath leaves me paralyzed. See, nobody even knows that I exist because I died and gone to hell. But really, it all comes back to the hate, back to the hate and the pain. I have seen the truth about pain and I don't like its eyes, so I close mine. Yeah, I hide so stiff. And this hate, it's buried under laments so deep inside of me. And there's no one thing I hate. It's buried under cements. I have enough to engulf you all. I'm pissed off. Not at any one particular thing. I'm pissed off at all human beings. In my mind, I'd be happy if, if 2012 really happened. So we can all die in anarchy. And I won't die alone. There's nothing more. What else can I say? I got so much hate and so much pain. And it seems... And it seems it's just... It, there's no other way. Okay. Okay, this one was inspired by an interview I just saw, but uh, brings truth to my life. Diagnose me, doctor. I think there's something wrong with my kid. He's acting crazy. Something I haven't seen in a long time. His teacher said he's a problem child. All he does is draw and write sillies. We put him on the crystal meth, but now he's selling it and acting goofy. What do you suggest? Should we give him some candy? Give him some candy? Tell me, do you digress? As a doctor, Missy, I can only say one thing. Your son seems like a nice young one. We'd be happy to take it from here. <clears throat> so, Mommy leaves the door to her depressive chocolate bed. The doctor begins the ticking of grace as it falls as the doctor gives him a head. Where's my pad of notes? I need to write my journal! We took it away, you little fuck. There will be no art except for recreational class time. The boy has grown up some. He's loving the yum-yums. Doctor says, there seems to appear that there's a hole in the boy's belly. This will need to be filled now, immediately! And the boy could not draw anymore. His imagination was shot. All he could do was sit in a cellar, have rats, his rats, feast on his destruction. Rats are everywhere. Now much time has passed. I'm talking light years here. And you're still sort of seeing a doctor, and you've grown to believe you're sick inside. I mean, that's old fucking hat. And the only diagnosis on your charts is... ANXIETY! That leaves me too. All alone. All alone, on my own, with a bunch of schizos roaming and muttering, as I do the same, I have managed to stretch the panic out into a somewhat manageable torture. Still in a dream, ripped at the seams, I've seen my darkest hour, and that hell gave me no power. And so now I'm here. Some years have passed. I feel that feeling, that beyond panic feeling. I know I sewed and bit the hand. Still tell me why this feeling doesn't die, but the good one did, but the good one did, but the good one did. Give me a comb, put it on my neck like a dog to stop me from biting the hand. Yeah, that's me, old helpless child, victim who needs to be victimized. Stiff as a board, I'm not bored, I'm fighting for my life. Some call it panic. I call it the consequence of having a void. Stiff as a board, but I'm not bored, I'm busy trying to save my life. Some call it panic, I call it the reaping. The reaping what my void has helped me so. I'm dying for something to live, like a girl who needs cock. 
up her void. I need Skittles and other toys. I am dying. I know I'm dying. I know I won't be alive in five more years. Too many near deaths. My life's a tragedy. One tragedy. The same old song. It's hard not to hold in all this trauma. Sick or sane. It's my brain. I can give a fuck less. Redeem me of this pain. And I know there's where... That's where I come in. But they won't come near my door even if I'm ready, set, go! All I want to sing are redemption songs. It seems suicide is the only redeeming quality that I have lingering in my mind. This court has grown rashes, oh so rancid, and it's quite infected with flakes, mold, and tumors grown so thick. All alone on my own with a bunch of schizos roaming and muttering as I do the same. I managed to stretch the panic out into a somewhat manageable torture. Still in a dream ripped at the seams. I have seen my darkest hour and that hell gave me no power and so now I'm here. Some years have passed. I feel that feeling, that beyond panic feeling. I know I saw it and bit the hand. Still, tell me why this feeling doesn't die. But the good one did, but the good one did, but the good one did, but the good one did. Everybody get the drums, but the good one did, but the good one did, but the good one did.